All right, so we'll call the meeting to order. Um, we have minutes. Um, anybody have any comments on the minutes? Discussion? Anybody want to move the minutes? Moved. Second. Second. Those, are, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, minutes are approved. So we have, <coughs> I only eight. read four, but we have eight, eight <laughs> items, <laughs> items on the agenda. And um, we'll ask Vice Chancellor Weinfeld to <coughs> walk us through them, please. Sure. Um, the first item is uh, a resolution to authorize the City University Construction Fund to expend funds on contracts related to the Center for Sustainable Energy and the new Sustainable Business and Technology Incubator on behalf of Bronx Community College. Part one um, of phase one of this project will include the demolition of Patterson Hall on the campus, which has stood unused since CUNY received the building from the U.S. Army in 2002. Once Patterson Hall is removed, the site will be used to house the Center for Sustainable Energy and a new Sustainable Business and Technology Incubator. And Mr. Chairman, um, the cost of this project is not to exceed $15 million. Should I just go through all of them and you'll take a vote? Yeah. Um, great. Yeah, I think they're pretty con non-controversial. Right? Yes, they are. Well, I hope they are. <laughs> yes. One question, will the energy needs of this building be, be met in a sustainable way? <laughs> we hope so. That's the goal. <laughs> At least this building. <laughs> Uh, the second resolution is authorizing the City University Construction Fund to expend funds on a contract for construction of a new welcome center in the NAM Commerce Center on behalf of New York City College of Technology. Cool. New York City College of Technology currently has no central information, res information resource for visitors and prospective students. This project will construct a welcome center in the NAM Commerce Center where visitors and prospective students can go to get general information about the college, programs, facilities, and of course admissions and financial information. And Mr. Chairman, uh, this contract shall not exceed a total of about $759,000. Um, item three is a resolution to authorize the City University of New York to execute development and operations agreements with New York University School of Medicine or its affiliates with the new Medical Simulation Center, a public-private partnership between CUNY and NYU, and to authorize the City University Construction Fund to execute any documents relating to the project on behalf of CUNY. Mr. Chairman, this is a public-private partnership involving CUNY and New York University, and it will provide a state-of-the-art medical simulation center in Bellevue Hospital. This sim center will be used for training in terms of trauma management, first response, and emergency um, medicine. And um, the capital contribution is a $21.4 million grant which we received from both New York State and New York City. Um, and uh, this project has been searching for a home for a number of years. I think as this committee knows originally, um, this was going to be housed at Beekman Downtown Hospital and um, the facilities just were not sufficient. We were not able to make a deal with the hospital. And uh, I might note that Bellevue has been um, extremely cooperative. And so the goal would be that both um, NYU, CUNY, and Bellevue would use the state-of-the-art facility. Um, Vice Chancellor Quenshaw. Yes. Uh, the reference in the last paragraph of the first page of this item refer is to a, a steering committee which will govern this uh, SIM Center. I would hope that the University Faculty Senate would have the, uh, would be invited <coughs> to name a representative of the UFS to that governance uh, committee. Um, I, I don't think so, Karen. This is a, a basically a four-person ma management committee may be the better phrase than steering committee, but because we didn't create um, a corporate entity, um, this is the entity between NYU and CUNY that will sort of engage in the day-to-day -day running of the center. And um, it will almost uh, certainly 
consist of one person on the program side, such as uh, uh, Bill Ebenstein, and one person kind of on the finance side or management side uh, for the government. running of the center. It's not a policy I committee. See. I see. It's an operation. Yeah. Chairman, um, the next item is a resolution to authorize the City University Construction Fund to enter into a ground lease with 118th Street Residence LLC for a parcel of property in East Harlem for construction of faculty residence. The City University of New York will execute agreements among the 118th Street residents, the Brodsky Organization, and CUCF related to the leasing, development, and management of the facility and CUNY Board of Trustees to provide the funds required to guarantee rents at the facility. This project will provide a 58-unit residence facility for faculty in order to attract new faculty and to enhance the educational mission of CUNY and the colleges. The project will involve leasing property in East Harlem adjacent to the new campus for CUNY's Hunter School of Social Work and offer transitional housing, <coughs> residents limited to one or two years, primarily for new faculty members. The rent on the units will be guaranteed by funds granted by the CUNY Board of Trustees. Um, we're very excited about this project, but to be honest with the committee, uh, we are still working out the financing terms um, with the bank. And these bonds will be HDC bonds, and we're coming to the committee quite frankly, at this moment, because if the financing works out as we hope, we have to be very quick and very nimble, and we recognize that there'll be no board meetings in July and August, so we need to have the ability to enter into this agreement so that when the financing is worked out, we can move very quickly to close, hopefully in July. I assume that, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. I assume that the revenues for the bond guarantee will be from the rents. Yes. Have the rents been determined? Not yet. We are, we're still working on the pro forma with <coughs> the bank and the Brodsky organization, mm -hmm. and that's why I didn't attach anything because we don't quite have it yet. And um, when we do have the numbers, um, <coughs> we uh, then we'll have a better sense of whether this project makes economic sense to move at this point. I think as this committee knows, the financing for any real estate project uh, is very uh, tenuous at this period of time, and we're trying to work out with the bank so that we can make this an economically <coughs> viable deal, both for the university and for the faculty as well. And your team will work with the Brodsky organizations in determining, determining the reasonableness of the rents? Absolutely. And how they're increased? A absolutely, and as a matter of fact, um, we have uh, done, as you know, a survey to the faculty. <coughs> we pretty much have an idea of what they're prepared to pay, mm -hmm. and we don't want to price ourselves out of the right. market here. So that's why the pro forma, the numbers that we work out with the bank, is really important. And this is highly parameterized. We, we sort of know the boundaries of this. It's a matter of getting the specificity. Yeah, I know exactly. And that's where I was headed, <coughs> how we're going to determine that specificity and whether our team has input to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, but if there was need for an operating subsidy, that would have to come back to the board anyway, right? Yes, it would. Well, we're guaranteeing them we're guaranteeing over the life the of the bonds, which means we have to have a really good handle on revenues and any revenue shortfall from the rents. Absolutely, and the scenario that we're assuming is that uh, the colleges would be approached about taking a certain number of apartments, um, and the the payments that they would give to us would be upfront, so that the bonds would be guaranteed to be paid, and then they would determine the subsidy that they want to afford their faculty. Um, so that <coughs> if they're trying to attract a certain type of faculty member, of course, maybe they want a more as part of the package that they offer the faculty they would more, want to more deeply subsidize it versus another college who may not. So these are the, the, the issues that we have to work out, but most importantly, we've got to work out the financing to make sure that this is an economic deal that the university can support. I have to say how important this is and how much I applaud you. Our um, experience recruiting faculty, of course, uh, makes us so aware of the challenge for people moving to the city in terms of housing. And you explained to us in a pre-facilities meeting that this is not rental, it's a licensing it's agreement. It's a license agreement. So you don't want to give this, these, right. uh, the faculty a, uh, you know, as though they're our tenants. Right. Uh, you know, the whole idea is, the key is that this is transitional right. housing, 
until they get used to the city, they pretty much know where they want to live, and we sort of help guide them through the whole New York City so experience. It's a bridge to the yes. New York City market. Which so they're one-year leases, probably. One or two-year, and they're not leases, they're license agreements, so they have okay, no well, rights okay. in, right, in landlord-tenant court. The other point <coughs> is that uh, I just want to add that um, we are going to begin the demolition of the site um, where the Hunter School of Social Work is going to be located. And I think, as everyone would well appreciate, um, we'd like to start construction at the same time to have Turner, mm. which is Brodsky's uh, uh, CM, start construction on both aspects of this project because we'll, we'll reap the benefits of, of the lower costs of construction. I'd like to second what uh, uh, Professor Kafka has just said about how important this is for the faculty. And having it right next to uh, the School of Social Work, even for faculty members who are not part of the School of Social Work mm -hmm. is an important synergy. Uh, it will give them a place to uh, work, in, perhaps in the library, which they'll have access to, uh, even if they're so I really applaud you for doing it and doing it in this way. And the School of Public Health. Public Health. Public Health. School of Public Public Health. Health. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Chairman, the fifth resolution is to authorize the execution of a new 20-year lease at 395 Hudson Street on behalf of CUNY Central Office. The university's computer center has uh, outgrown its current space at 555 West 57th Street, and after a long site search for a new facility, this facility at 395 Hudson Street in Manhattan has been selected. The facility offers 138,000 square feet of rentable space that is already built out as a data center, which will save the university the significant cost of renovations. The site also includes office and support space, as well as a backup generator, <coughs> currently lacking at the 57th Street site, and easy access to public transportation. Who's the landlord? Um, it's the, um, uh, the Carpenters Union is the landlord, and I might add that there's a lot of wood in this building. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a lovely building, all made of wood. Termite inspection. <laughs> I'm sorry. Termite yes. inspection. <laughs> Fire safe. <laughs> uh, and we are really extremely pleased. You know, when we went out looking for a data center that's been going on, going on for a number of years, there were very few available, and this truly is almost in moving condition. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to signing the lease and, and getting moving in terms of moving the data center over to 395 Hudson. Uh, item number six, the resolution to authorize an amendment to a prior resolution approved on September 22, 2008 <coughs> for a lease arrangement at 30-20 Thompson Avenue, Long Island City, New York, on behalf of LaGuardia Community College. The amendment is to authorize the additional uh, leasing of approximately 23,000 square feet <coughs> to the terms of a lease agreement. This amendment will authorize the addition of approximately 23,000 square feet um, and will add already to the considerable space that we have in the building on behalf of LaGuardia. Um, this space will be used um, uh, by LaGuardia. Uh, to run a program for the City of New York regarding um, stimulus money they got for workforce, workforce development. And so the first couple of years of the lease will be covered by the grant that we're receiving from the City of New York, and then afterwards um, CUNY will assume the lease obligation for the space. Resolution number seven is to authorize CUNY to extend up to 18 months an existing month-to-month -month lease of space at 620 Isham Street, a.k.a. 108 Cooper Street, Washington Heights, New York, currently being used to support CUNY in the Heights, a general education program jointly administered by Hostos Community College and the Borough of Manhattan Community College. Uh, this resolution will authorize the short-term lease, which is a continuation of the university's lease of space in Manhattan's Washington Heights section currently being used, as I said, by Hostos and BMCC. I might point out that um, we are currently looking for other space, but um, in this part of Washington Heights, there isn't an abundance of office space, so um, we're going to extend our lease and continue to run the program out of this space. And the eighth resolution is to authorize CUNY to execute agreements as necessary related to a student housing facility at 45-56 Park. Pearson Street, Long Island City. This resolution will authorize the university to move forward on a project 
to provide 600 bed housing facility for CUNY students based on the results of a marked demand study completed in January 2008 and an RFP issued in June of 2008. I think as this committee remembers, um, we went out with an RFP to be able to find and create what we call the Manhattan dorm for our students in various Manhattan uh, campuses. And as a result of the RFP process, um, we have selected a developer who actually doesn't need any financing from CUNY, doesn't want us to be their partner. All they want is an agreement that we will direct our students to this facility. And so um, this, this resolution will authorize us to go ahead and so the developer can get financing and begin to construct this 600 bed facility. And I just want to note that many of our students in the demand study said the two neighborhoods after Manhattan they wanted to live in was Long Island City and anywhere in downtown Brooklyn. So <laughs> we believe we have found, found a good site for them. Two Hello? questions. Are you able to tell us the developer? Or is that on, still in negotiations? It's still in negotiations. And secondly, where in Long Island City? Are we near um, Queen's Landing or PS1? Or we're, we're, we're closer to PS1 than uh, uh, the, the other site that you, you pointed out. Okay. That's it. Yeah, one question. The CUNY related entity that's described in this document, what is that? If you can, if you're at liberty to say, where's this in the yeah. last resolution? Yes, Long Island City, B8. Okay, in um, in the last paragraph, in the fourth line, the CUNY-related entity will then lease the property to a developer. Oh, that's what it. It's a, a LLC, I guess, that we'd be creating uh, for, this be able, yeah, for this purpose. Yeah, the yeah. University will create. Oh yes, yes. yeah. Fine. That's so university fine. related. Right. Right. Okay. Those are all the items. All right. Um, any other questions on any of the items? The non-compete clause uh, is just for a number of years. Not. It's not on infinitum. It'll just be for a couple of years. So that we can get the residents leased up and we can get a buzz going about uh, this facility. We're serving as a catalyst. Okay. Basically. Any other questions? No. We have a motion for these eight so items. Moved. Second. 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 For those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain? Hearing none, you're done. Thank you. <laughs> Well, never done, but yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>